Dwarf now has mod support. You can install and create your own mods. There are already several mods available where you can unlock all the towers, maybe remove a cooldown, change Dwarf's hair red, or make the slimes look like turds. The Create Mods button takes you right to the Dwarf Mods GitHub page, which has the documentation you'll need. The Templates folder has all the moddable files for the game, like enemies and towers. Here you can see a list of all the enemies that we have in the game. And let's go to towers. So if we click the crossbow, in here are all the files we'll need, like the sprite sheet and the stats. Back on the Dwarf Mods main page, if we scroll down, we can see that Dwarf uses the TOML file format. You can click the TOML link if you want to learn more about it. It's similar to JSON and XML, but much easier to read and write. All right, let's create a mod. First, make a new folder. We're going to call this one a Stunning Spin Blade. Okay, now go to the Templates folder and find the Spin Blade. Download these files and put them into that folder. You'll see a download button, but you might need to log into GitHub and then you would click the download icon. Remember to download all the files and put them in the folder. Now to change the stats, we just need to open up the stats file. You can use notepad. So I set knockback to two and the slow amount is gonna get set to 0.99. The reason is because if we set the value to one, it'll make the enemy play the shock animation, which we don't want for this mod. Lastly, we're gonna set the slow duration to two. We also downloaded the sprite sheet, so let's make some sort of change to this. Personally, I like to use a sprite. It's about $20, but you have several other options like Pixel Edit, which is 10 bucks, or free software like Piscale and Pixel Art, where you can draw in the browser. So I decided to make the blades on my spin blade red. Now that we've made our mod, we're going to go to curseforge.com. Here, search Dwerve, and you can see all the cool mods. Here you can rate them and download them, but to upload our mod, we're just gonna create an account. Once you're logged in at the top, you can click create a project. It'll take you to this page where you can select Dwerf, and then you name your mod, let's call ours Bloody Blades. And the summary can be Red Spin Blade Blades, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Spin Blade was the name of the tower. And then for the description, we can uh, put in bloody stained red blades um, or something like that. But remember to, if you're submitting for the competition, remember to make a video and upload it to social media, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, whatever, and just explain your mod. And this is where you would um, embed that, insert that link. Oh, look, you can embed the video right in here. So don't forget to do that when you upload to your mod to CurseForge. So scroll down, click allow project distribu distribution, all rights reserved, and then pick a category. This isn't really important. Maybe uh, configuration because it changes the stats or, or towers. Ours is a tower, so I'll pick towers. And then upload a logo image. And click start project. Cool, our project has been created. Lastly, upload that file that we created. So you can just click this file button here and then click the choose file and upload that folder of the mod that we created. Make sure to click a supporting game version and then you can submit your file. Good luck, I hope you win a prize. We look forward to seeing what cool creations you come up with. May the best tinkerers win.